If you ever had one of those filming sessions where everything went great, the lighting was good, the subject remembered their lines, you remembered your lines, it took less time than you thought, only to find out you only recorded one side of the audio? Don't worry, we can fix that. It's actually a pretty quick fix. Hey guys, I'm Patrick Fuller, and today we are going to solve the one-sided audio issue problem that every once in a while will pop up just because we're probably just moving a little too fast. So let's say that we are out in the field or maybe in the studio and we're using one of these guys, an H4N or one of my favorites, the Focusrite Scarlett. And we just happen to record one-sided audio. Maybe it's just the left track, maybe it's just the right track, doesn't really matter. But we can't have one-sided audio. You don't wanna hear it just in one ear. So we gotta fix that. How do we fix that in Premiere Pro? Let me show you. So here's a quick demo clip. Let's play this and we can see how it sounds first before we fix it. Have you ever had one of those filming sessions where everything went well? The lighting was great, the subject remembered their lines, you remembered your lines. Now nobody wants to hear one-sided audio unless it's for a special effect and only for a short duration. So let me show you how to fix this using a special effect in Premiere Pro. We're gonna come over here to effects and we're going to search for fill right with left or fill left with right. And again, this is all gonna depend on which side is actually active for you and which side you need to fill in. So for me, the left side is working just fine, so I need to fill in the right with the left. Let's come down here, drag this down to my audio clip. We're gonna to go to effect controls real quickly just so we can see what's going on here. I've got this fill right with left. If I scrub this all the way back, have you ever had one of those filming sessions where everything went well? Boom, and now we've got both sides of the track. Now, one more thing I wanna show you, it's called swap channels. Let's just say for effect, you wanted the audio to swap sides for like some sort of special effect, probably bouncing to music. You could do that here by changing the decibels on the right and left and doing that kind of stuff, but it becomes a little bit convoluted to mess with. An easy way to do this would be to come over here to effects search for swap channels. I'm gonna apply this to our sound here, go back over to effect controls, and we're actually going to turn off fill right with left in this case, because swapping channels when they're already, two of them are already active, doesn't make a lot of sense. So now if I play this, have you ever had one of those filming sessions where you'll notice that it plays only on the right side. Check this out. If I was to cut this a couple different areas, I could actually do swap channels, activate it here, turn it off here, and then turn them both off and fill with my right to left, activating both tracks. Now listen how it sounds. Have you ever had one of those filming sessions where everything went well? The lighting was great, the subject remembered their life. Could be a cool effect to try it on your next video. If you got something out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Here we go. All right, today we are at uh, 1.8 on the Sigma and 1250 today on the ISO to test it out. Maybe you're doing one of these with the 